Hey everyone, welcome to Tech Answers. And I'm not sure if it's just morbid curiosity or I like abusing computer hardware. I wanted to compare a couple Intel stock coolers that I had sitting around. The first one, and probably the worst one, is this one that you usually get now with lock CPUs and things like that. Is this all aluminum, uh, super thin cooler. Um, not much to it. Doesn't cost Intel a lot to make. And they'll pretty much throw it in with anything, obviously except k skews because <laughs> this isn't going to do it. Uh, the next one is the exact same thing, but with a copper plug in the middle. Now this one was actually the stock one that came with the system that I used to, uh, uh, to run this test. It was a, uh, a 4670K with a uh, MSI G45? Uh, uh, correction text here if I screwed it up. Um, uh, gaming motherboard. And then this one, I'm not sure if this is a stock Intel. Everything about it tells me it is. It's build. Um, it says it's for LGA 1156. Absolutely everything about it says stock Intel cooler, but it does not have the Intel sticker. And I, I don't know, I can't explain it. And I can't find any Intel CPU that came with a similar sticker. If you know where this thing came from, find it in the comments, but it's built to a T like any Intel cooler, but it's, as you can tell, much thicker than, the, the, much thicker than any of the other two. So, we're going to test the aluminum one first. As you can see, the uh, CPU starts off at a wonderful idle of 50, what was it, 50, 56 degrees Celsius. That's awful. This room is 72 degrees Fahrenheit, by the way. Um, and it very, very quickly uh, jumps into the 80s. And I believe within a minute, a minute or two from this test starting, we start to see thermal throttling. Fast forward a bit and you'll see that it reaches a max of 19% thermal throttling. Well, that's it for that crap cooler. Let's move on to the first copper core thin one that uh, came with the uh, 4670K. This cooler starts off with slightly better uh, idle temperatures, starting in the high 40s, low 50s, but it doesn't take it much longer to suffer the same fate as the previous cooler. However, this time it doesn't go as high. It only hit a max of 10% thermal throttling, so either way it means it's bouncing off 100 degrees Celsius. I would actually like to say for the record that uh, this one actually took a little bit longer to hit its uh, thermal max, but either way, eventually it does. And finally, we have the, not sure if it is a stock Intel cooler, but is built exactly like an Intel, I don't know what the hell to call this thing. Anyways, starts off cooler than the other ones, uh, about low 40s, uh, low 40 Celsius, uh, slowly works its way up to the mid-high 60s, low 70s, but that's about where it stays. This one's a much much better cooler. However, it has one drawback. The other two operated almost entirely silent, but this thing, ugh, this, uh, this thing got kind of noisy. That might be the reason why the other two did not perform as well, is because the fans would not kick up, or this fan kicked up. It didn't change anything as far as the CPU uh, fan speed, so I don't know what made this one kick up, compared to the other ones, even though this one was cooling a lot better? Uh, mm, beats me. But the proof is in the pudding. You can see here, worked f way better. It, it, every bit of 30 degrees Celsius lower. And that's about all the proof I need if you can put up with the noise. At the end of the day, it just goes to show if you can buy a CPU without a cooler, awesome. If not, I guess you got a great paperweight. Um, if you have a lock CPU, these things are, aren't, aren't terrible. They're not bad. Or in a, uh, any kind of small form factor, 
But at the end of the day, get your closed loop cooler. Get you, just get get a good tower cooler with a bunch of heat pipes. It, you can get so much better results, and your CPU will perform far far better with uh, if you can keep its thermals under control. So that's it for this video. Uh, give me a like if you liked the video. Uh, toss me a comment if you want to see me do something else with these coolers or any other coolers. See if uh, uh, I don't know do a cheap cooler roundup or something like that. Just let me know what everybody wants to see and uh, we'll see what we can do. That's it for this video. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.